This is a demo of uh, Ajax Scraper, a little Java applet that I wrote. Okay, so here is an example of an Ajax application. Okay, so if you view the page source, there's not a whole lot there, right? But you actually want to get, you know, this content down here. So let's we'll look for the word, uh, you know, HTML5. Well, methodology, how about that? Okay, and if you, if you inspect it in your browser, you see there's a lot of HTML there, right? Okay, methodology's there. So what you want to do is you want to have that output as opposed to that output. Okay, so what you want to do, download Ajax Scraper from my blog, unzip it, okay, it'll make a folder where you unzip it. Okay, there's a jar file couple other jars. I'll try to combine those for the next version. And there's a text file called urls.txt. Okay, here's the, uh, the one we just looked at. If you want to add more you just add them with lines, line breaks in between. And it'll loop through all of them. Okay. Go to the command prompt, switch to the folder where the zip was saved. So that was on my desktop, Ajax scraper. And then run it as a jar file. So Java jar Ajax scraper dot jar. Okay, so you need Java runtime environment. I think you need 1.6, but I'll try to lower it down to 1.5. Okay, so it's gonna open up Firefox. So you need Firefox installed. Okay, it's getting the page. Waiting five seconds for it to render. Writing output, saving the screenshot, closing the browser, and you're done. I'm just gonna close that. So it's created an output folder here. Okay, it's a screenshots folder. It's taking a screenshot of the uh, page just so you can make sure that it uh, got everything it was you wanted it to get and then the HTML okay and there's your HTML okay and the word methodology is in there okay so that's save the actual rendered HTML not the uh, just the plain HTML source Okay, so let's do that again with uh, another site so you can see. You can pass in two parameters afterwards as well. So the first one is the number of seconds you want to wait for a page to render. So it, it, it'll load all the HTML and images uh, in a page and then it'll return the HTML. But if it's rendering HTML with JavaScript then you gotta make it wait for a certain amount of time. I'll see if there's a better way to do that but for now that's the only way. Okay, and you can also pass in true to save screenshots or false to not save screenshots. So let's go true to save some screenshots. Okay, so it's opening the page. It's waiting 10 seconds because I put in 10 in the uh, as a parameter here. So it seems to work well at about five seconds or so. But if there's a lot of HTML getting rendered, it might want to wait longer. OK, 
Okay, that's done. Okay, so it's overwritten that previous one, and then it added the rapid minor one. And it overwrote the previous screenshot. Actually, no, it doesn't look like it did. Uh, and it added the rapid minor screenshot. Okay, so that so that works. So this is a beta beta version of software. Obviously, let me know if there's any bugs uh, or any features you'd like to see. Um, and that's it. Thanks a bunch.